morning guys this is Eunice and today is Thursday uh, we're getting up there closer to Christmas and I'd like to wish everyone Merry Christmas from my family to your family uh, this year hope you guys go into 2023 uh, very healthy and well and happy and financially well okay so today we're going to talk about uh, cat's claw and this is a uh, herb that um, a lot of people don't know about. It is not commonly used, but it is still used in today. And uh, when I was doing my research and so far to discuss what herbal knowledge I was going to put out this week and so far, this just happened to catch my attention and so far uh, because of the uh, leaky bowels, the um, uh, other a few other symptoms and so far that I thought that you know may bring um some health uh benefits to you guys and so far and as I always say if you can't use this information pass it on so that somebody can okay help um cat's claw is a plant and the root of the plant is used for medicine of course and uh it's been used again just like every other herb for centuries uh, cat claws uh, help aid in cancer. Uh, it also help aid in uh, viral infections, um, allergies, high blood pressure, and the gout, and um, also uh, stomach ulcers and things like that. Um, these um, herb, this herb, cat claws and so far, is very, very good with a lot of these symptoms, which are very serious symptoms and so far. And of course, you know, um, if this herb can help you in any way and so far, it'll be advisable for you to talk with your physician or other herbalist or someone who can guide you uh, through, uh, through this and so far. So we're gonna get right into cat claws and get into the depths of this um, uh, herb here. I guess right in a minute. Okay, now it's commonly used uh, for improving symptoms of, like I was just saying, I'm going to go over some of those, like arthritis. Um, I probably didn't pronounce that right, and it's, it's a tongue tire there. And then we got rheumatoid arthritis. Uh, it is also used for a various digestive system. Uh, as a, again, uh, it's also used for joint pain. Uh, it is also used for uh, viral infection, uh, cancerous uh, diseases, and uh, it's also used um, for set swelling, uh, inflammation, uh, the large intestines of the bowel, and so forth. And there that uh, I did mention leaky bowels, and so forth. So this herb is really, really good for that. And these are serious but common issues and so forth that this herb can actually help with and everything. Uh, I don't can't say, you know, it depends on how far these uh, symptoms has advanced and so forth. But if you know of someone that has these issues and so forth, it'll be good to mention. Also, too, you could talk to them about, you know, talking to their physician about that. Now, not all physicians will, you know, allow you to use herbs and so forth while you're under their care and so forth because some physicians just don't believe in it and so forth. But uh, since I have been a herbalist and learned and know about these herbs and so forth, I have gotten so many uh, praises on herbs and so forth and everything that, oh yeah, these herbs do help, they definitely help. So when I put out this information and so forth, I'm putting it out for you to do your own research on it, talk to your physician on it, and make your decision about your health and this and that. And I hope that um, going into 2023, uh, you know, that um, people will take a heed to these herbal medicines and so forth and include them in their lives and stuff of some kind of way to help them to live a better and healthier life in 2023. Um, and all that. So before I go, uh, let me just recap on uh, cat's claw. Uh, again, like I said, this because we don't even get a lot of calls for this particular herb, but it is a good herb and it is also still used. And like I said, a lot of people don't know about this herb and this is a very potent herb and so far and everything. So again, let's just go ahead and do that recap and so far of what this herb actually does for you. Uh, this herb uh, is commonly used for 
osteoarthritis, and I, again, I know I pronounced that wrong, uh, rheumatoid arthritis, cancerous uh, diseases, viral infections, uh, stomach ulcers, joint pain, inflammation. Uh, it also helps with uh, aiding in the bowel system with the large intestines and so forth to help aid and prevent leaky bowels. Um, and so it's good for several other things as well and so forth. Uh, but these are some of the known facts, some of the, um, you know, some of the most common issues that, you know, uh, a client will come up and ask about and so forth, at least the one that's using it and the one that's, you know, interested in it or have heard about it and so forth. These are the most common uses for it and so forth, but there are a few other uses for this herb as well cat herb and again we of course we do have that herb on the um on our website in capsule form um if you're interested in doing that and so far you know getting those herbs and so far and i'm going to check real quick to see if i miss anything else in my notes um oh yeah okay i did okay and I did mention viral infections and so far, but it also does have the shingles on this list. So it also aid in shingles, which I know that they keep, you know, uh, they have a vaccine for, they're giving shots, I don't know if they charge for them or not, but also too, um, uh, this here helps with the shingles. Uh, it also helps with cold sores, which is also a viral infection. Uh, it also helps with herpes which is also a viral infection and so far. Um, and uh, it does also say uh, simplex A's caused by HIV. So uh, cat's claw had with a, a lot of viral infection, which is, you know, one of the first things. But when you speak of viral infection and so far, those are the detailed viral infection that it does have. Uh, herpes, A's, um, cold sores, uh, what I said, shingles, um, and uh, so those are some of the viral infections that it does help with, and so forth, and again, uh, it does help with cancer joint pain inflammation and, and all that. So I hope this video will help you. I hope 2023 brings you good health, good wealth, and so forth, and um, I will see you next week. I uh, hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. And God bless you all. And thank you for stopping by and uh, joining me with these herbal knowledge because I'm just trying to get this information out because I know a lot of people don't know about certain herbs and so forth. And I, you know, just touching the surface, it, it's just so much more um, out there. Even I am still learning about these herbs and so forth. And in 2023, I'm going to continue bringing these knowledge to you uh, so that you can be aware of, you know, what's out there for your health other than the doctor, other than the traditional medicine and things like that. I will bring forth these herbal knowledge. Okay, until 20, well, no, uh, next week would not be 2023 because we still got that sweet in. But anyway, I'll see you next week. Bye. <laughs>